Quick Facts on P.T. Barnum, The Story Finney Ars Taylor also known as P.T. Barnum, born on July 5, 1810 was an American politician, author, publisher, philanthropist, showman, and businessman remembered for promoting celebrated hoaxes and for founding the Barnum and Bailey Circus. He is known to be the greatest showman of his time. He was born businessman and a natural salesman. At early age, he was peddling lottery tickets and cherry rum to soldiers. Barnum moved to New York City as a young man and tried his hand at a variety of businesses, including newspaper publishing and running a boarding house. He was the king of promotion. In 1835, Barnum launched his career in entertainment by purchasing Joyce Heth, a blind slave, touted as being the 161-year-old former nurse of George Washington. After billing Heth as the most astonishing and interesting curiosity in the world, Barnum put her on display in New York and took her on a small tour of New England. Barnum exhibited her throughout the Northeast region, raking in up enough for him to invest in new business. Barnum bought Scudder's American Museum in Lower Manhattan in December 1841 and reopened it as Barnum's American Museum, where he introduced his first major hoax, a creature with the head of a monkey and the tail of a fish, known as the Fiji Mermaid. Barnum followed that with the exhibition of Charles Stratton, the dwarf General Tom Thumb, the smallest person that ever walked alone, who was then four years of age but was stated to be eleven. In year 1843, Barnum hired the traditional Native American dancer Fuhummi, the first of many Native Americans he presented. During 1844 and 1845, Barnum toured with Tom Thumb in Europe and met Queen Victoria, who was amused. By late 1846, Barnum's museum was drawing 400,000 visitors a year. During his Tom Thumb tour of England, Barnum had become aware of the popularity of Jenny Lid, the Swedish Nightingale. He approached her to sing in America at $1,000 a night for 150 nights, all expenses paid by him. As a result of Barnum's months of preparations, Lid was a celebrity even before she arrived in the US, and close to 40,000 greeted her at the docks and another 20,000 at her hotel. Lid gave 93 concerts in America for Barnum, earning her about $350,000. Barnum netted at least $500,000. He helped popularize opera in the United States. Using profits from the Lid tour, Barnum's next challenge was to change public attitudes about the theater. Widely seen as dens of evil, Barnum wanted to position them as palaces of edification and delight, and as respectable middle-class entertainment. He built the city's largest and most modern theater, naming it the Moral Lecture Room. He followed that with melodramas, farces, and historical plays, put on by highly regarded actors. He watered down Shakespearean plays and others such as Uncle Tom's Cabin to make them family entertainment. In addition to his show business career, Barnum sought to transform his adopted hometown of Bridgeport, Connecticut, into a thriving metropolis. He went bankrupt after attempting to lead a doomed Jerome Clock Company to Bridgeport, but repaired his financial standing through public speaking engagements and additional touring with General Tom Thumb, and went on to serve two terms in the Connecticut legislature and one term as mayor of Bridgeport. Barnum did not enter the circus business until he was 60 years old. Barnum is best known for his traveling three ring circuses, which was launched after his museum was twice destroyed by fire. Barnum was one of the very first circus owners to move his circus by train. He later teamed with his famed partner James Bailey in 1881, and the two went on to make a fortune running their greatest show on earth known as Barnum and Bailey Circus. Barnum became known as the Shakespeare of advertising, 
due to his innovative and impressive ideas. He knew how to draw patrons in, by giving them a glimpse of something that had never been seen before. He was, at times, accused of being deceptive and promoting false advertising. Barnum described his hoaxes and justified the act of perpetrating them by saying they were advertisements to draw attention to the museum. I don't believe in duping the public, but I believe in first attracting and then pleasing them. The Greatest Showman, is an upcoming American biographical musical drama film directed by Michael Gracie and written by Michael Arndt, Jenny Bix, and Bill Kinden. The film stars Hugh Jackman, Zac Efron, Rebecca Ferguson, Michelle Williams, Ye I Abdul Mateen II, Natasha Liu Borditso, and Zendaya. It is scheduled for a release on Christmas Day, 2017 in the United States. Thank you.